artists and welcome to my channel as you can tell by the title of this video i'll be reviewing the old couture paris fashion week extravaganza the looks the the glam the not so glam you know what i'm saying um, i definitely have been doing my youtube shorts covering it but since it's the end of it i wanted to do a longer video um so if you're new here hit that subscribe button and be a part of this tribe and to all my amazing supporters and subbies thank y'all so much for rocking with me still but let me get right to this video because it's gonna be long okay because the girlies was slaying in paris okay so I want to start with um, I'm gonna get over with I'm gonna start with Jordan Woods, okay? Because Jordan Woods, you know, sometimes a lot of the time she's definitely that fashion girl, okay? Um, but sometimes I'm like, okay, she, you know, she's a baby fashion girl. She she getting there, you know? Um, and for the week of Eau Couture, some looks was just gas for me, and other looks was not so much. Um, let's just start off with the my favorite looks. This. Uh, look that she wore was absolutely divine. I'm gonna put the designers um, in the video. I'm not gonna really say the designers too much, but anyways, this look I love. This look I love the neck covering. Like I was saying, I love the deep V. A lot of some people in my uh, YouTube short when I covered this said that this outfit kind of was like um, it kind of what is it called? It was too much. Like it swallowed her or something. I don't know. But I don't see it. Like, no, no. She, this was a vibe. This was a look. I love her hair. I love the flip. And listen, that flip hairstyle, the girlies have been loving that hairstyle. It's bringing it back. So I'm so happy to see that back. Um, but yeah, this was definitely one of my favorites. Um, my other favorite that she wore, the extravaganza, the, the drama of the, you know, the, the collar and everything, the purple. She looks so beautiful. Um, yeah, so this was definitely one of my favorites. I loved her, you know, top knot bun. And then the other favorite of mine that she wore, um, this dress right here. Like, I love the swoop in the front. Like, oh, she just looks so good. This black is simple, but then the details, the silver details of the dress. Like, that was A1. Those were my favorites. But my not so favorites, um, yeah, I definitely posted this on my short. I wanted to love this outfit so much. I love the flower detail. I love the lace. Um, but it just wasn't hitting. And it was like, whatever she was wearing underneath, it just wasn't doing it for me, you know, as I stated in that video. But her hair was on point. The accessories were on point. Um, I just wish the color underneath the top was something different. But um, this one here, right here, is like, I have a love-hate it. Uh, thing going on with this outfit because I love the hat right the earrings this like oh this green earrings with the jewels like they're gorgeous all right like her makeup gorgeous even the top but it's just like the skirt for me is not doing it like oh like everything from the waist up I love I even love the shoes but the skirt wasn't doing it for me so overall Jordan you know she came you know she she saw uh, did she conquer? Let me know in the comments if she conquered. But you know what? Hey, kudos to her. Now let's get into it. So we have some of the uh, Real Housewives uh, franchise that was there too. Um, we have Lisa Milan, the Real Housewives of Dubai. She showed up and showed out. Um, and she was definitely, you know, you know, listen, she's a fashion girl, okay? And I've learned that recently that she's a fashion girl, okay? So this outfit right here, this gold, she looks beautiful, but it was the hair for me. Like the hair was A1, phenomenal, okay? Like, and then the shoes, uh, I wish you could zoom up. The shoes were so just avant-garde. She just looked so good. She just looked regal, okay? So this was definitely a good look for her. And then here's another outfit that she wore a night out in Paris. Um, I love the jacket. I love the, the feathering details. Like, her hair just pulled up. Ooh, the makeup. Like, I love this look. It's simple. It's classic. It's chic. It's definitely Paris approved, okay? So she definitely did her thing. I feel like, you know, for real. Then we have Kenya Moore, who, you know, showed up at this fashion show. And, baby, you know, Kenya, if you know Kenya, you know that she was always that fashion girl, that it girl, that 
the black Barbie, okay? She's been that girl, still that girl, okay? When it comes down to fashion, like she's so beautiful, okay? And this is her hair, like her hair, she got inches, all right? But I love this dress. I love the, the asymmetrical on the bottom, the blue, like she looked good. Her body looked good, so it was good that she showed up and she definitely did her thing. She did it justice. So this was, this was a vibe for her, I, I'm proud. That's the only look that I have for Kenya. But yeah, let's go on to the other girl because I said this is gonna be jam packed. Then we have uh, J-Lo. Let me tell you something. J-Lo, Jennifer Lopez, Jenny from the block. She is one of the best fashion girls in my book, okay? Like she can't do no wrong in my opinion. And she was just serving looks after looks after looks, okay, at these fashion shows. Even when she was just out and about, she was just serving looks, okay? And yeah, my favorites were definitely the Valentino. My favorite, that black, all black with the details going on, the, the sleeves and the shoulder and the flip out. She's another girl that the flip out. Literally, this was just perfection. And then this Ellie Saab with the green and, and uh, purple combination, gorgeous, okay? But then this, her just being out and about, this red and then the bow, she just looks so, she just looks so, so Paris, you know, so girly, so just chic. Like, it just was a vibe. Like, oh man, she has so many looks. And then this look right here, oh my gosh, she's wearing a Scapelli at night after she went from the third of day. This coat was everything. This is, this is Jenny from the block, okay? You can't tell me this is not Jenny from the block right here. Like the sunglasses, the, the white shoe, the bag. She ate this up, like wherever she was going. And then you see the Eiffel Tower in the back. She ate that look up, okay? But yeah, even the what she wore to the um the Scapelli uh show with I love that outfit. Take the jacket off. I want to show y'all up close without the jacket. But this top, like, who her body looking right? The belt. Yeah, this was a one. She 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 nailed it. She literally came, saw, and she did conquer. Okay, but I wouldn't expect anything less from J-Lo because that's she's a fashion girl, okay? But yeah, let's go to the next um, celebrity. We have Zendaya. Zendaya just came, you know, like, I feel like lately she's just been, like, doing little pop-outs in, in the fashion and, like, and then just be dipping. You know, I wish we saw more of her. And there's probably more pictures, but I couldn't find them. So if you can find them, you can let me know. Let me know in the comments. But um, here she is at the Scapelli, um, and... I adore this. Like I did a video, I did a YouTube short about it. I love this. It was giving me Fifth Element vibes. You know, it's just, it was just everything. It was haute couture at its finest. You know what I'm saying? It's funny because my son, my bonus son was like, oh, <laughs> he was like, I don't like this. So what are you talking about? This ain't fashion. And he's here, so he probably hears me. But <laughs> um, I was like, you don't know fashion. S sit down. He's six feet. I'm like, see why? You don't know what you're talking about this was it okay but then even at this this outfit the purple the plum that she wore was so beautiful out of the two could i choose which one was my favorite i couldn't because both of the looks was just equally just gave me what i needed to you know what i needed you know so she came she conquered for me okay and then we have savannah james the queen to the king james you know uh, but yes, listen, I wish she popped out more and maybe she did, but I can't, I, again, I can't find any pictures other than, you know, the, the two that I saw, but she showed up at the Scapelli, um, uh, show and I adore this. I didn't do a video, but I did post it in my community section. I loved everything about this. I love off the shoulders. I love the, the 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 button, the gold button details. Her hair was amazing. The makeup amazing. This was just amazing. Tens across the board all throughout. And but for me, even though I love everything as is, I think if she would have had it like her hair pulled up in a top knot, I think it would just be even more amazing in my opinion. But it's still tens either way. Okay. Um, and then here she is out in dripping Chanel. Like this was just more of a like a, a 
a casual sleigh. You know, I like this purple. I like the pants. Like, okay, with the shades. Like, she looked good. She looked good. Um, and, and I'm here for it because I would wear this. I would wear this as a casual say out and about. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead. She came, she did her little thing, and she she did that. You know, and that's what that's that's what it's about. But anyways, let's go on, let's go on because there's just too many girlies, man. Next we have, listen, Jeannie Mai. Hello, honey. Let me tell you something, Jeannie. Listen, she's always been that fashion girl. And and people are like, oh, because of what she's going, got going on with Jeezy, that's why people are posting her. I don't care, okay? Post all, post her, keep posting her. Because she is been that fashion girl, still that fashion girl, is that fashion girl, will forever be that fashion girl. And she literally shut it down. Even when she lost her luggage, she said she lost her luggage and all that stuff, but she still swayed, okay? It didn't stop, not, not a thing, okay? Because looks after looks. Let me show y'all the looks that uh, I didn't come on my YouTube shorts. But this casual out and about the jean with the blazer, the top bun, the messy little bun, whoo, the cutout in the back of the, the pants. This was so fly. I will rock this. Like, if you know me, I will rock this. I want to find a dupe. Like, I have to, because this was so fly. Like, everything about this was just dope. Even the top, the turtleneck, come on. Like, tens, 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 tens across the board with that, okay? Um, and then here's another one that she wore this, what is this, this teal? Ooh, with the feathery details, the earrings, the shades, that, the, the, the chiffon, a train in the back? Like, come on. She looks so good, like, Jeannie, Listen, but you know what my favorite one was, was that red gown. That red gown. First of all, that, that designer literally was my favorite, favorite designer, favorite show of the entire Okator Fashion Week, okay? And I stand on that, okay? And she just looks so freaking good, okay? Every detail, there was nothing wrong with it at all. And if you find something wrong, you will hate her. That's all I gotta say. But yeah, she slayed. Um, and then even like she's still in Paris and she's still slaying because this is a lace outfit. Whoo! With the jacket and the collar. She is serving sex appeal. Like, and the details on the, the shirt. I'll tell you, Jeannie's like, I'm going through a divorce, but <laughs> I'm going out with a bang. You know what I'm saying? Like this. She ate it up. I'm telling you, you can't tell me nothing. She is that fashion girl, always will be. Like for real, which one of you, which which look was one of your favorite looks for her, for Okasaw Fashion Week, okay? Let me know in the comments about that because I don't have no dislike. Like everyone that she did was a look, was a look. There's nothing that I can say about it that I didn't like at all. So yeah, she slayed that, <laughs> as she should. But, um, but yeah, what else? What else? Who else? Who's next? Who's next? Okay. We're going to go with, uh, Sabrina El um, Elba. Sabrina Elba, um, Idris' wife. And let me tell you, Sabrina's a fashion girl. And she's very low-key with her fashion. That's the thing. And I feel like because she's so low-key and just quiet with her fashion, she don't get to me the recognition that she deserves. She needs to be out there in the limelight. And I'm going to cover her a lot more because she, listen, the Husqvarelli outfit that she wore, whoo, breathtaking, okay? Definitely was one of my faves. But let me tell you, she just, this this Husqvarelli right here, like this look right here with the half, um, uh, uh, the, the two-tone material, like of the jacket, like this was just so out there but i love it i love it and it works for her like she slayed this look this was this was good even the bag even down to the the ugly shoes with the toes whatever listen not a lot of people can slay these shoes but she's one of them she can slay it for real um what else was a favorite look of hers oh this casual sleigh that she's wearing like just out and about in the streets of paris with the sneakers and the coat and the bag and the like the little sweater and her hair this looks like an ad somewhere like for an ad for like in a magazine in a movie like she just looks so good all right and then oh so many other looks this look right here was just the vine the 
the deep V of the jacket, here she is, whatever she's drinking, it's part of the outfit. It, it was meant to be the accessory. The coffee, the drink, whatever, the hot cocoa, whatever she got on, the, the Hennessy, I don't know. I just feel like she needed it. It was part of the outfit and it worked, <laughs> you know? Whether that's intentional or not, it just, it, listen, it was parody. It was so parents like it was just embodied that. And then this look with the hat and then like the suspenders, like come on, Sabrina. <sighs> Listen, y'all watch out for her because I'm definitely gonna be posting a lot more of her because she came, she conquered, she slayed, she ate it up and she was holding toe to toe with the, the other girlies, okay? Like for real, she did that. Okay, uh, who else, who else, who else? Who else? Let's go. Let's go with Kylie. Kylie definitely came and she definitely did her thing. And she's still doing her thing because she's still in Paris, all right? Um, she has some really phenomenal looks that I was just like, yes. But the one that sold the show was when she was with her daughter, okay, Stormy. That dress was just everything. She looks so good. And the mommy and the, the mommy and me matching to the tee, down to the jacket, even to the bum in the back. It was just perfection, okay? Um, and here she is with Kim Kardashian. Kim's dress was amazing. And then her dress was just, you know, amazing. But it was also her outfits that she wore when she was just out in the night rendezvous with, you know, maybe her secret boo, Timothy. I don't know. But yeah, this black number, the crisscross to the top with a little just bit off the shoulder. Like her hair with that swoop with the studies. Like she looks so good and luxurious. Like this looks like a romantic night out in Paris. And I know people will like romanticize Paris, but listen, I'm from New York, okay? And I know that Paris could be dirty, but trust and believe Paris could be really beautiful. And I've never been to Paris, but I know it can be because people are like, oh, it's so dirty. Like I said, I'm from New York and New York could be really beautiful. You just gotta know where to go, all right? And this looks like a beautiful night that she was out just having just probably the most amazing you know say it ever i don't know what it is but this was a vibe even this look right here oh my god i don't know what the fabric it is but the top the bralette top and then the high slit just how it's draping off of her like she looks so luxurious and i'm not a fan of the wet hair look but it works with this she looks so good and i'm so happy that she kept minimal jewelry i don't think she even wore earrings if she did it was very just studs everything was just oh she looked good this looked good i really want to know what the fabric because it kind of looks i don't know it looks like a terry fabric but she looks so divine i i, I gotta give credit whatever credit due and here she is with this uh coat with the glasses her hair is just wet again whatever and then the red shoes and the stockings i'm not really understanding the shoes 100 percent I'm not, like I said before one of my YouTube shorts, she's in her rich white girl era. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, she definitely served a lot of looks throughout. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite look for Kylie. Uh, last but certainly not least, okay? We're gonna go with Kat Graham, okay? Cause Kat came and she saw and she conquered in my opinion. She was serving so many looks. One of my favorite is this pink one, the little, uh, the mini miniature, I'm gonna say miniature Madonna cones uh, vibe, the net covering, the flip out here, another one with the flip out. Like it was just so luxurious, the, the, the gloves. She just looks so, so Paris, so romantic. Like you just gotta, you gotta see the vision. Do you get me? Do you feel me? You know? Like, and then even just this look here, like when she was out, still, you know, rocking the same uh, designer, John Paul Gautier, with the little mini uh, banana cones, the net again, the hat, like the stockings, the boots, the jacket. Like, she looks just like a high class street walker, but in a good way, you know what I'm saying? Like, in a good way, in a French way, you know? She looks so good. Like, there was just so many looks from her that was just breathtaking. Even from my favorite designer, like, this, that outfit, like, was just so gorgeous on her. Like, man, listen, these girlies, they shut it down. It was good. And I just can't wait to see what uh, regular Paris Fashion Week, what they gonna bring, what they gonna show out, what they gonna wear, because, man, whew, let me know in the comments who was your favorite fashion girl 
okay? And did I miss anybody out? You know, because I'm sure I did. There was so many. This video would have been entirely too long, and I'm going to go sit here and do that. But let me know in the comments if I missed some of your fashion girlies. I was like, you forgot to cover this. And then so I could check it out, and so I could converse with you, and we could have fun. We could keep key in the comment section, because y'all, I got some of the best supporters out here, because I be having fun in the comment section. Y'all be putting me on. But yeah, until next time, you made it all the way to the end of this video. We family, okay? So you might as well subscribe, hit that button, and until next time, deuces.